Welcome everyone this morning on a Friday morning here in South San Francisco and in San Francisco as well. It is a pleasure to welcome to our Inside Deaf Mission episode number four, a wonderful young man that I met about two years ago. And his name is Gael Hill. Welcome Gael, tell us how you're doing this morning. Hi Leo, I mean, well, hi everyone. Thank you Leo for introduction. <clears throat> um, I'm doing good, um, focusing on school, uh, trying to stay healthy, safe, you know, all that stuff. Trying to finish the, the year off on a good, the year off on a good note. Um, yeah. Great. Well, I'm excited to hear that you're still in school. You're doing wonderful things and definitely we're going to enjoy this conversation with you and our listeners and viewers will get to learn more about who you are. So let's get right into it. Uh, can you tell the audience, Gael, which uh, cohort from our pre-apprenticeship program did you graduate from? Uh, yeah, so I was part of the fall 2018 cohort, I'm pretty sure. Great. So that's uh, almost two years ago. So since then, um, can you tell us what are you, what you, you know, currently doing? Are you in school, working? Uh, what's going on with that? Um, so okay. Currently, I've been uh, in my, I started my sophomore year of college this fall 2020, um, and I'm looking to transfer uh, this next fall 2021. Um, so I'm in school full time right now, um, and that's what I'm doing. I'm working on some side projects, uh, meeting up with my mentor that I got paired with, the mission um, every week. And that's what I've been doing. Great. Well, I can imagine during this pandemic, things are a lot different. So tell us a little bit about how you not only have prepared yourself for school, but how Dev Mission has also prepared you to pursue this wonderful degree that you're currently pursuing right now. Uh, yeah, so um, I feel like um, one of the greatest parts about being part of the admission is that uh, you constantly get a lot of opportunities like coming at you all the time and you can always take them. Um, and one of the biggest parts for me is always the mentorship that was after the cohort. <clears throat> because through that I've learned like a lot of things that have helped me in school, um, helped me feel more confident in school as well with subjects like in computer science classes and other math classes, and as well as like preparing me for like internships, which I was able to take a part of as well. Um, and that's just something that you like in college or in school, you wouldn't really get. Um, so it's really like, I feel like I've been very prepared um, by dead mission. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think that's it. Nice. Great answer. So you mentioned about these opportunities, right? And every young person that graduates from our organization has some opportunities internally with the organization and externally. So can you share that, you know, a little bit about what type of uh, employment or pathway opportunities you have received from this organization since you graduated back in the fall of 2018? Yeah, so um, I remember when I was still taking Part of the, I was still in the cohort in 2018, and I was, uh, um, I remember the opportunity about becoming like an intern for that mission and working on the website. And I always thought that would be like a, like a good and like first step or start. Um, and I was like, I want to be, I want to be doing that. So then that was my first one that I did with you guys. <clears throat> and then after that, I think that one went on for a while. Um, for like a year maybe um and then we rebuilt the website um and i don't know i don't know a lot you know i got to meet people as well I got to work with people um but during that time as well i would got to be part of the uber and admission fellowship which was like the next level i guess after that one um and i thought that was really cool because we got to go to uber and um you know just be in that space was pretty cool because, you know, like I said, you wouldn't get that in school, but also, like, um, that's what Dead Mission is all about, bringing uh, people who can't get to these places, bring them to there, you know? 
Um, so it was cool to be there and, you know, see people um, be like in the internship, in the fellowship with other people um, that are like me as well. And it was cool to work with them. And like, I learned a lot from doing that as well and learning from the engineers and the other fellows. So that was cool. Uh, and then the most recent one was the app dynamics internship, which is like, like my first official internship. And I thought that one was like, it's probably like the coolest one I worked on, even though it was remote. Um, Cause it, it, I just got to meet so many cool people and got to work on like really cool stuff. Um, and through like, from starting from the dev mission um, website intern, I learned and then going to the Uber fellowship, um, I felt like those kind of just really prepared me for the app dynamics one. <clears throat> so uh, all these opportunities kind of just pro like progress and make me like more prepared as, as they go. So that was pretty cool. Nice. May I still remember that journey uh, away from everything and the wonderful opportunities you have received. Uh, there's always a special place for you within the organization heart because you have devoted away from being an intern, time away from that, right? To work on the website, to continue to be mentor, mm -hmm. to come back to the mission when we were on the ground right before the pandemic and to be part of multiple events. Yeah. Um, also, you receive uh, our Youth Leadership Award back in 2019. And we made the announcement on the website that night and, and you were at the podium telling everyone about the wonderful work that you did. So it's just a great pleasure for me to see that journey. And I think along with those um, opportunities, there's always this environment about goals. And when you think about the goals that are now part of the tech industry, uh, could be a lot, but maybe you can share with the audience today a little bit about um, what kind of goals did you have coming to Dev Mission and what kind of goals have you accomplished now for the past two years with our organization? Yeah, um, hmm, that's a good question. Um, I think at first coming into Dev Mission, uh, uh, I didn't really have any goals. I just kind of wanted, I mean, I guess learning was my goal, but I just kind of wanted to learn, um, try something new. Um, and I guess my goals after the, my, after finishing the cohort were to go to college, which I'm doing right now. So that's achieved. Um, but you know, I still want to uh, get my degree and all that stuff. Um, but <clears throat> I don't know, I feel like I, I got to so many goals without really like think, thinking about them. Like for example, the internship, I feel like that was obviously like a goal eventually, but I didn't expect it to happen so early. Um, and it just kind of happened. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Um, so my future goals, I guess, are to, um, we'll finish um, college. Well, we can start smaller, but you know, transfer out first, um, finish college. Um, during that time, get some internships, um, and then by the time I'm out of college, maybe like start somewhere um, with a company, who knows. Um, and yeah, and continue to help out that mission as well. Um, I've been able to help out the cohorts um, in the past, so I'll have to do that again in person um, whenever that's available, so yeah. Great. Thank you for sharing those wonderful goals with the audience today. And it's interesting that you mentioned sometimes that you kind of didn't have any goals, but I think the opportunities that this organization presented to you, you decided to jump on those. And I'm pretty sure at the beginning you were like, well, hopefully I get this done. And, and along the way you have done that. So we commend you for doing that. We also are so proud of you for the work that you've been doing. So along that conversation we're having, it, it, this organization is very unique. We've only been around for three years. We have done an amazing work helping young men like yourself to prepare for careers in tech. Can you tell the audience if you have three words that could describe your overall experience at Dev Mission, what those three words will be today? Mm. I don't know. 
I'm really bad at explaining things, but um, I think growth is a good one. Um, I've grown a lot uh, from just like meeting so many people, getting to talk to them, learning their experiences. Um, another one is family, I guess, because, um, you know, at that mission, you always just like uh, meet a lot of people and like <clears throat> you just know all of them and you, you, we, you know, you all kind of get along and you start building um, friendships and all that stuff. So I guess family. Um, another word. Um, hmm. I'll say passion. Um, there's a lot of passion at that mission, both by you know the staff and everybody who works there, and um, the students as well. You know, every, every, all the volunteers that, that go there, they you know they sh they show up every day <clears throat> to you know teach us and like um, I don't know. They just like they really care about teaching us. They don't just do it to like say they do it. They you know they're there to help us through everything. Um, and I noticed that a lot when I was in the mission and, you know, the fellowship and all that stuff. So passion. So just to great three words, it's our family growth and passion. Very well say. So excited to hear that. Um, as we continue with this interview, there's always this conversation about what is the most memorable moment that you have been part of that mission, right? Which is that aha moment. You're like, oh man, this is so cool. So can you share with the audience, you know, if you think of one memorable moment within your journey with us, what mm -hmm. would that be? Yeah. Um, I'm not too sure, but I mean, cause I have a lot of them, you know? Um, I think, I don't know. I mean, one of the, like the good, uh, one of the ones I really remember was um, when I was in the part of the cohort um, and we had the the first, well, the first gala that I attended because um, like it was not what I expected at all. And um, there was a lot of people um, and they were just, I don't know, it was, there was a lot of people, there was a lot of students who were like, have gone past the program and, you know, are, are um, doing like better, not better, but like bigger things right now. Um, and who's the program helped them a lot. So that was really inspiring. Um, so I, that's one of the biggest ones. Cause like to me to see that, I was like, oh wow, that's pretty cool. You know, because people have been through what I have and, you know, they did it. So, you know, I feel like I can do it as well too. So I would say um, that's one of my most memorable moments. Nice. Yeah, I still remember that day. We were at the Google community space, and I still remember your entire cohort being there. We had alumni, we had funders, sponsors, and we just celebrated our third annual gala last night under remote access, <laughs> yeah. and we still were able to do something and looking forward to the next time to have you in there again and uh, see other young people that have been inspired by those memorable moments. What a, what a great journey. Um, so now let's talk about some advice. I know you've been getting a lot of advice from mentors, from our staff, our board members, the executive team, but now it's time for you to share an advice with other young people that might be watching this video, perhaps participants from our current cohort, uh, maybe other alumni that are still trying to figure out what they want to do after graduating for that mission. So, what advice would you have for some of them as they're thinking about starting their journey in the tech industry? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> uh, for me, I think something I like would advise, well, I have a couple of things, um, but uh, I just had it in my mind, I forgot what it was. Um, a word of advice would be um, to not like overwhelm yourself with how much things there are in tech. Um, because like, 
for me personally, when I was like first starting out, I was I felt like I had to know like every language, I had to know every single thing about every language, I had to know like just a bunch of things. And like, um, you don't, right? Um, um, you don't have to do all that. You know, just focus in on what you want to do. Find something that you love. Like you can do front end, back end, uh, data science. Um, you know, you don't have to know everything. Um, just do what you like. Um, and then just focus in on that. And if you don't like it, you can, you know, you can just try out other ones and then keep on going and then find what you like, you know, <clears throat> and just don't overwhelm yourself. Um, cause that's, what I, that's what I felt like I did with myself. Um, and the other one would be like to have patience. Um, because Depending on what route you're taking, whether you you know you know you're going like a boot camp way or like a college way, computer science is like uh, you know something that needs a lot of patience. You can't just go run through it, and it's gonna be very easy. You know it will be hard, but um, I've had those you know hard moments. But you know you gotta just be patient. You know take your time, do what you gotta do, um, and you know you'll get to your goals. Um, cause I never thought I'd make it to the place I am now and I'm very like at the beginning. So, you know, you know, I'm pretty proud of myself for that. So yeah, patience and don't overwhelm yourself. Great point is for everyone out there today. So we appreciate that type of advice coming from your heart. And I think that we have all not only seen the growth, but also how passionate you are about certain things that you do and you take a very you know, serious matter in respect of those type of uh, conversations that you and I have been having as well. So mm. keep up the good work. Um, so we're almost done with this wonderful interview. We have learned so much about you and um, probably things that not every deaf mission alumni or participant or staff knows about you. Mm. But at the same time, Gael, you know, you started this journey two years ago. And here we are, 2020, interesting time, pandemic, remote access, distance learning, Things have completely changed. But away from that, where do you see yourself in the next three to five years? And I want to just ask that question today because I think it's critical for young people to know that even though situations might be different, there's still opportunities out there. So tell us what you'll be doing in the next three to five years. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Because I always think about, like, you know, in the next year, next month but I, I never thought about three or five years um but maybe three maybe like i think i'd be just finishing college or my senior year so maybe you know wrapping that thing up um five maybe i don't know at some company uh, um you know hopefully like i don't really know how uh whatever like the economy and stuff works but you know hopefully you know a lot of these companies stay in you know the bay area and all that stuff <clears throat> you know, like i like living here you know um so hopefully you know at some company here and you know of course i'd like to you know come back and you know help dev mission now um because i'm pretty sure i'll have a bunch of more opportunities from you guys um in those two to four or five years you know so, you know, I'd like to, you know, give back to the students, to the community, um, to all of you. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Nice. I like that approach. I think it's a good approach. And definitely along the way, the mission will be there to support you. You're part of this family. You're part of the community. And regardless of what's going to happen in respect of the economy and the tech companies, we're gonna to continue to find ways. We're very innovative and we're gonna to continue to make it happen just for you and others. So we're almost done with this interview. I wanna ask you one of the last questions. So if there's one thing you would like, you would like everyone to know about Dev Mission, what would that be? If it's one thing that you want everyone to know about our organization? Hmm. Um, I think, one thing I'd like people to know about the mission is that it's a lot more than you think. 
Um, and what I mean by that is like, you know, there's a, we have a small spot in the mission, you know, it's a little um, office, I guess. Um, but, um, you know, there's so much more that goes on behind the scenes, I guess. You know, there's so many people like trying to help. There's so many like opportunities um, starting up. Um, and, you know, you, you never know where, you know, what's going to happen, what opportunity is going to be available to you. Um, and, I, and I, you know, I got to see that as, you know, time went on because I was like, oh, you know, I, I get to learn here. And then as, as time went on, I was like, oh, I have more opportunities now. And it's like, oh, like, there's people trying to help us. So it's a lot, a lot more than just, you know, the, the program that we offer, you know, there's a lot more opportunities that are offered and a lot more people that are, you know, trying to help and care about us. So, yeah. Great. I love that behind the scenes approach and you've been part of it also managing our website, building the website, helping, you know, one of our wonderful staff members, Ismael Sosa, our lead designer also at the process. So it's really exciting to see your wonderful journey. So, you know, I always come out of the cuts and I'm going to ask a question that probably was not on the script. Yeah. Um, so, Gael, you mentioned about mentoring. And I think sometimes a lot of young people don't realize how important that is. Can you share with us and the audience uh, the mentorship program that you're part of and Maybe a little bit about your mentor, who he is, what he does, and how he's been helping you throughout this journey. Yeah, uh, that's a really good question because um, I think one of the, the most uh, important, not important, but uh, one of the most like impactful um, opportunities was the mentorship that um, I, I got from Dev Mission. And I didn't. At first, I was not gonna apply to get a mentor. A mentor. Um, I remember filling the like application out. I think the day it was due. Um, but um, it ended up like being like one of the, the best um, opportunities because uh, I got to meet my mentor. His name is Cameron. Um, he, he's a data scientist, and we're meeting further two years now, I think. Um, and uh, I just learned so much from him. Like, he's helped me like so much through like, learning about um, data science, because that's what he <clears throat> does. But also just like topics um, in tech. Uh, tells, he tells me about his experience in tech, what it's like working with people, applying to places, the interview process. Um, and the projects that we've made project before, um, and those have just been like super helpful to like prepare me to. Uh, I don't know. I just feel, I, you know I get more confidence from as the projects progress and I learn more things. Um, and we're still working together, still um, creating more stuff, meeting every week. Um, and that's something that I always have, you know, um, sometimes it depends, sometimes it's like uh, twice a month, once a week, um, you know, the meetings, uh, right, now they're, right now they're remote, of course, but um, yeah, he's helped me so much, um, super patient with me. Um, and that's, yeah, because I don't know, I, I, didn't, ex I didn't expect the, uh, mentorship to go on for this long and, you know, be so impactful on my journey and my learning. So I'm really glad I took it. Um, yeah, and a huge shout out to Cameron for helping me out for everything. All right. Wow. What a great journey, guy. And we're so excited that you have been part of it. We know that other young people watching this video will probably get inspired by your story. It's been a delightful experience for me to know you personally with a lot of the conversations that you and I have been having in the past. And I know your journey is just getting started. Mm -hmm. So I want to commend you, like I said before, to continue to embark on this journey, continue to be patient. Uh, it seems also that you have a lot of networking skills, which is great because sometimes those connections will help you get to where you are. 
So I want to thank you on behalf of our board, our staff members, the participants in the program, and just want to continue to support you moving forward. So we want to thank you today for being part of this wonderful Inside Dev Mission episode four. And I'll see you when we get back on the ground. And if not, we'll do it remotely. Yeah. Have a good day.